Um, welcome to Ajayo Tech. Um, actually, I did a video before, but I didn't know it was false. I was just carrying on, and but I have I had to start um, all over again um, on this. So probably I'm just going to be deleting some things. Uh, let me do that right now. Um, yep, just going to delete this. Just going to create a new one. Um, Black documents and close this because I was actually seeing a script recorded and uh, it, I didn't know it was actually post. Okay, so I'm just going to start all over again. Okay, so um, a few things you need to know is one we're looking at um, IGCSE ICT February March 2018, um, variant 21, and in this video, we are looking at um, documents production okay and also a few things to note is also a few things to note is okay um just a uh, few things to note um again is um it's important that you go to the instructions you read this instructions first um it's very important you do that so that um you don't use overconfidence and you don't make certain mistakes very 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 important okay okay um since that we're done with that so um let's go to the actual question it said you you work for tower university which is relocating to a new site you're going to perform some tasks for this organization now they said tax one is your evidence document okay so let's open this 1803 evidence.otf Okay, uh, for the purpose of this video, I've opened the source file already, the source folder down, so it's easier for me to um, just navigate to the files instead of um, looking for it in, in, um, just to save time. Okay. Um, so I'm going to open 1803 evidence, so I'm just going to open it here. And now it said, make sure that your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of your evidence document by placing these details in the header of the document. So they were specific that it has to be in the header of the document. Now, um, here is the header and um, here is the footer, okay? So the header is at the top of the page, the footer is at the bottom of the page. So I'll click on my inserts, click on the insert tab, click on header and on the blank, I prefer the three columns that so it's easier for me to write my name, the center number, and of course the candidate number. Okay, so um, I'm going here and I'll type my name. Please always type your name in full. Okay, um, your center number, the school center number is NG064, right? Um, which is the um, center number for Edward College, um, like if it's what. Okay, your candidate number, of course, you provide it with a candidate number. But since I don't have, I'm going to use 2022, okay? 2022. Close. And um, the next thing is make, okay, we've well, done this. Save your document, your evidence document in your work area as evidence, followed by your candidate number, for example, this. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this. Copy. And. Um, I'm going to click on save because mostly they will ask you um you should always save your evidence document in your work area as a document okay so i'm just going to do that save this as one document um hit on my backspace right click and paste this hit on the backspace and um 20, 20 which is my candidate number and i'll click on save Okay, um, I created that before, so I'm just going to place this. Okay, just to be sure that this is actually recorded. Okay, I wouldn't want to make the mistake I did before. All right, um, you will need to place screenshots and answers to question in this evidence document. Okay, so this is done.
Okay. Now, the question proper, and it's one mark, you're going to edit an information brief about the development of the new university buildings project, okay? The first question is, using a suitable software package, uh, we're going to load the file 1803news.iotf. So let's look for it. Okay, okay, this is it, yeah. I have it here and it said uh, set the page size to A4 so I'm going to set the page size to A4 click on file sorry click on the layer tab click on page setup okay I've pretty much done this because the video so um the paper size you're gonna click here and you're gonna change it to A4 okay Going to change this to A4, and um, the next question says um, set the page orientation to portraits. Um, if you come here, just want to take this out. Okay, if you come here on your layout tab, click on the page setup here. The margin here is orientation here is portrait which I've changed it was landscape before and okay the set set all margins to two centimeters now the margins are this which is the top bottom left and right to two centimeters now I um in some uh, word processors there are some um, in some word processors you might notice that your major unit is different from what you've seen here some might be an inch some might be in millimeter some might be in pisca and the lights etc etc okay i'm going to show you how to change that okay right here in this video and i'm doing that right now so um all this is done and we can click on save now if you click on the file tab click on more click on options click on advanced now, if you go to display, you're going to see show measurements in units of this. And you can now change it. If yours is inch, millimeters, point, pisca, you can change it to centimeters. Okay? Okay, my 30 centimeters and that. Now, also in the pay setup uh, and margins, you don't necessarily have to type two centimeters. You could just type two and across board um, and the centimeter is going to be there automatically okay all right so now that is out of the way um just going to uh, okay All right. Um, now they said we are to place screenshot evidence of your page size, orientations, margin settings in your evidence document. Now, if you go to your evidence document, you notice we have steps one and two. So they're expecting you to do two screenshots in this evidence one. Okay, so I'll click this. Okay, um, I think this is, is fine. So I'm going to type here step one, then we have step two. Okay, um, so let's take the screenshot of the page size. Um, click layer tab, come to your page setup. Now you can also use here to navigate your page size, your editions, your margins. You can use it to navigate, but it's advisable you're placing screenshot, they also want to see this. Okay, 
So my page size, I have it at A4, and I'm going to open, I'm going to close this, open my snippet to click on new. Okay, I'm going to paste this here, close this, um, picture format, I'm going to crop this, I think I see a little black, uh, okay, that's fine, alright, and I'm just, okay, it's fine, I can still crop it, because all they want to see is this, Okay. Uh, this is okay. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. This is definitely okay. Okay. Um, the next one is um, orientations and margin settings. That should also be there. The screenshot should be there. Your evidence document. So I'm going to go here, and um, the margins here, here, and orientation. Do want to see? So I'm going to take another um, swipe at it. Okay, um, and I'm going to close this and paste it here. Black is showing. I don't want to. I just I'm just going to copy it because I don't want the black to show. Good. Uh, this is clear enough, you don't need to adjust it more, it's so clear. Um, so I don't have to, it's, it's legible and um, it's clear. So, um, so we're done with this. So, um, evidence one is done. Now, this is save question three, that's two marks. Save the document to your work area with a new finding. Make sure it is saved in the format of the software you're using. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to save this. Click on the file tab, save. Click on the file tab, click on save as. I'm using um, MS Word, so uh, the file type Default file type is one document and a different file name. So I'm just going to use my name. Now it's important to use um, something that you, uh, the examiner can relate to because you don't want to use something abstract. So if you're talking about news, obviously you see, you just have to add your name and of course, um, of course, the default name that is there. So it's uh, easy peasy, guys. Nice. Easy peasy. All right. So we have something like this is okay. We've done that. Moving forward, um, place in your know, evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure there's evidence of the file type. Okay. Um, I'm just going to save this. And I'm going to make this a list. Yes. And yes, there's evidence of the file type here. So I'm probably going to um, sort this by date modify because I want this to show. That this is what they want to see is uh, make sure um, there's the evidence, place your evidence document a screenshot to show that this file has been saved. Make sure there's evidence. Uh, there is evidence of the file type. So you just, just want to see that. That is what they want to see. So we're going to take um, a screenshot. New. And it's important that you also take a screenshot along with the URL showing where this file is saved. 
it makes it easier for you as well so, okay um for your examiner to know that this was not copied okay so i'm going to go to my evidence document and i'll place this here right click and i'll keep the source formatted of this okay this is okay very clear um obviously in your exam you you might want to uh, you might want to change your um, your team to a light team so it makes it easier when placing the screenshots to be to have a, um, a, a white uh, a, a white background okay that's fine all right uh, moving on to the question. So we have done this. Okay. Um, now, place in your in the header. Question four. Place in the header your name, center number, candidate number, left aligned. So we're going to the quiz to the um, document we are editing and we're going to create a header. So you click on your insert tab on the header. I'm going to use the three of them uh, because you might not know what you're going to ask again. Okay. So your name, center number, candidate number, left align. So I'm going to do that. Comma, my center number is NG0064. Um, kind of number is 2022. Actually, uh, you might want to put this in capital letter. Click on the hope tab. Um, click on change case and click on uppercase. Okay. Okay. Um, Automated page number right align. See, knew something was coming up. <laughs> okay, um, click on this. Go to insert. Or oh, still on the header and footer, you go to page number, and then you select current position. Okay. Sorry, let me undo this. Okay, um, that's to undo it. Page number. I want it here. Current position. Okay, I'm just going to make a quick pause to know what is happening. Okay, guys, I, I think I know um, why this is happening to me. Yes, why it's happening to me. So, um, now the reason why this is showing is because I used this for Mail Merge 2018, which you notice right there in um, my channel. You see the video there. So, I have. Um, I have it turned on. I have the feed code turned on. So I'm just going to um, turn it off right now. So I'll click on my file, click on more, and um, click on options. So you just have to be careful because most of the time um, you're going to um, see some things there and you want to know why they are there and, of course, how to rectify. Okay. Thank God it showed up. And some students can actually encounter this and they don't know what to do. So now it means the feed code is turned on for your mirror image. Which you did because obviously you have to take a screenshot of, uh, on um, those few codes and now we're going to turn it off okay so uh, we're going to see here um,
think you see it in the um, think it's show documents it should be show documents uh, okay yeah show few codes instead of their values um so i'm just going to uncheck this click on okay now we should have one okay uh, now we should have one is this in the magic tell me if this is Point. Uh, this should be in the magic just want to be sure um view i uh, put up my grid lines yeah this is it yeah 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 it is it's in the margin so it's fine since we didn't imagine okay so that, that was all the issues we had and um, thank god that has been rectified okay um right aligned place in the footer okay so we are done with the header so we can take this off and we can close this okay the next one is place in the footer the automated file name with the file part right align so um, I'm going to click on the insert tab footer click this I'm going to go to quick part inside the field I'm going to look for file name and I'm going to add parts to the file name okay because I said place in the footer the automated file name with the file part right align they want to see the part of it um, in your document so we have this Okay, file name and add. Okay, so take, um, let's see anything else. Um, no other text or place that include any header or footer areas. Um, all the alignment match the page margin. Header or footer are displays on all pages. So um, we can take this off. and so here it is so it's right aligned okay this is better yeah this is better right aligned this is better okay close so we are done with that and it's just for two months all the stress we went through two months <laughs> that seems so fair <laughs> okay but okay um done now we're going to create a style okay now create and store the following style Basing each on the default um, paragraph style. Okay, so we have to create and we have to store the following style. We're basing each of them on a default um, paragraph style. Okay, the default is a normal. Okay, so now they have style specification sheet, and we're going to start with this. So um, 
Now, a quick one to know that we are looking at the sun serif. Okay, the sun serif is your area and your serif is your times new woman because of the coiling um, edge it has for your serif. Okay, your sun serif is your area and your serif is your times new woman. For my students, I'm going to show you um, a slide on that and uh, so you can see the difference next time you've been asked why this is a sun serif, why sun serif is area and why serif is um, your times new woman. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, so let's go ahead and let's start creating the styles. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to click on my home tab. Um, you have your styles here. Now on this um, dialog box here, um, launcher, I'm going to click on it. And you can see that um, these are the styles there. And we're just going to create our own styles to it. Okay. So at this plus here, new style, we'll click on it. And the name of the style here is TU Type 2. So I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. This style type is paragraph style based on normal. And um, we're going to apply that so we don't need to bother ourselves about it. Um, the font style is Aria. Font size 36. If it's not there, you can just type it. The alignment is center. Enhancement on the line. Line spacing is a single line spacing, and we can see that this is a single line spacing here. But if you want to check, you can click on format to paragraph to see that it's just a single line spacing. Okay, line spacing before and after zero, so we are good to go. So we can okay this, and we have this. The next one we're going to click is we're going to create is. The TU subtitle, I'm just going to highlight this and copy it. Notice guys, it has to be exactly the same. Because we're gonna take we're gonna um, take some screenshots, play some screenshot on the evidence document. Sans serif, which is your area. Font size is 36. Okay. Show it is. 18, rather. 18. That was two. But the sub size is to be 18. Alignment is right. So right here is right. Enhancement is. It looks. Single line spacing, um, spacing before and after zero. And I've showed you how to look for it and to know if it's a single line spacing. And um, of course, if this is here is 1.5 and this is a double. Okay. So I think we've done that. We're just going to okay this. Click on normal. Click another one. TU subheadings. Serif, which is the Times New Roman. Okay. 
and we have it for body. Okay. Okay, so we're going for this for headings, please. For headings and um, 14 because it's TU subheading, so it should be for heading 14. Um, alignment is left. Okay. Bold. So the uh, helmsman there is bold. Light spacing is single. Spacing after is 14. To click on format, paragraph, spacing after should be 14. So I'm just going to type 14 here. And I'm okay. You can always check to see that it's 14. Okay. Okay, we're done with this. To you, buddy. Okay, um, so we're going to continue with the TU body. So we'll do TU body. Um, going to copy it. I'm going to create it. Right click on it, paste it. I have a um, serif, the Times New Roma, and it's going to be body. The font is 12. Alignment is justified. Now, we're only having to alignment here left, centralized, and right. So I'm Coming here to to font now under this I'm going to select uh, not here going to make this um, justified okay um, it's not here. Okay, think we should see it um, right here in paragraph, right, paragraph, okay? So the alignment here is going to be um, justified, okay? Um, justified, and I'm going to click on Okay, justified Enhancement is none. Single. The light spacing after. Space after is 12 points. So we're going to do that. Format. Paragraph. Spacing is 12. Okay. I think we're done with that. It's important that you style is based on normal. Okay, um, okay. Creating a new one and we're calling it T bullet. Okay, right click on it, copy, paste, save, which is the Times New Woman. Point is 12. Alignment is left. Okay. Square bullet. So we're going to go to numbering. And under the bullet, we're going to use the square bullet. Okay, so this is square. Single. 
zero zero, which is okay. And lastly, we're going to do the TU table. Times New Roman body. Twelve alignment is left non single single. Okay, we are done with this. Okay, so I've created all the styles. And now the next thing is I said place in your evidence document screenshots to show that the style setting have been defined for the two paragraph styles only. So we're going to do that. For the body, I'm going to modify it. And um, we're going to take the screenshots. Okay, this, this screenshot is very important, but what they want to see is all this because this is what they want to see the font, the left to light, just to file, space, everything is here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take my I'm going to take a, a screenshot of it. Okay, this is okay. My evidence document, which is cancel this, cancel this. I'm going to place it here. Which is clear, so um, no need of adjusting anything. Just have to bring this down. Okay. Oh, adjusting it a little. So going to enter there. It is small. Okay, I think it should fit in here. Okay, should fit in nice and easy. Okay, all right. This is done. Okay. Take the highlights here. Okay, and I've also done this. Okay. All right. Um. Display this custom style names as a list in the style manager slash organizers. Provide screenshot evidence that this style have been have been created, name and saved. So we're going to provide this custom style name as a list in the style managers. And of course, what we are simply doing is we have to take screenshot to show the style name have been created and saved and we have to place it in our evidence document. So we're going to now if this is not there, you can quickly Click here and you have them here. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of this. Okay. Um. Okay, seems not to be showing. 
Uh, I'm just going to take a normal screenshot, um, which is um, Windows and print screen of it, and I'm just going to place it here. And I can just crop because this is what they want to see. Okay. Um, enough. Okay. So all the styles are there. All right. So this is done. All right. The next one is insert a blank line at the start of the document that enter the title New Campus News. Okay. Copy this. Inside a blank line, you just use your enter, and then you have this line, and uh, you can paste this. Apply the TU style to this text. TU type to style to this text. Okay. Below the type to add the subtitle to produce by and add your first name. So I'm just going to copy everything here and add your name good job Andy apply it to your subtitle style to this text so I'm going to do that Okay. Um, so we've done with this. Inside the blank line before the text, we are now beginning. To actually inside the blank line before the text, we are now beginning. Okay, uh, okay, so I'm just going to look for where this is. Oh, it's here. Oh, we're not beginning. Beginning what? Ah, move. Okay, <laughs> okay. And enter the, is that a black line before the text? Okay, we are not beginning. Enter the subheading. So before the text, we are to, um, Enter the subheading good news. Good news is twenty twenty three. Okay. Okay. Um so I have to insert a new black line before the text and we have done that change the page layout so that the subheading good news and all the following text is displayed in two equally placed columns with two centimeters spacing between them okay go to layout 
on that column more columns two columns and the spacing is two centimeter okay sorry just going to highlight everything okay two centimeter just to be sure it's two centimeter yes it is any other thing I'm missing to select a test yes I want to select it yeah select a test Okay, um, apply the TU body style to this text. So done. Okay, um, Seems to be getting easier and easier. Okay. Now identify the five subheadings in the document and apply the TU subheading style to each one. So we're going to identify them. We have the first one here, second one here, third one here. Fourth one. And fifth one. T subheading we are applying to them. Done. Import the image 1802 building dot jpg. So we are importing that. But we don't know who we're importing it to. Place this on the first page in the program that starts. The new development is. In the paragraph we start okay copy this just think of said it the new development is okay here and we are importing this image here is now I I, I okay I have it here good Done. Align with the top. We start align with the top of the paragraph. Okay. Align to the left margin. Okay. Beside the image to fill half of the column space and maintain the aspect ratio half of the column space so this is seven point maintaining aspect ratio seven point it actually be three point five or we could just make it four it's fine under the pictures, wrapping text, I want it to be tight. Okay, I think this is fine. Okay, this is better. Should be half. Say half. Okay, that's good.
Now, definitely the first one. All right. You start a new paragraph. Um, a new paragraph has to be set, inserted after the text. Add help to save internet usage agreement and enter the text. Okay, uh, let's look for it. Add help. I'm just going to use my find. Add help to. Okay, so a new paragraph after the text. So I'm going to paste this. And enter the text. The rules of internet. Um, the rules of the safe internet usage are under this text on separate lines in your own words. Enter the four rules of using the internet safely. Okay. Um, so the first one would be. Um, Installing anti spyware, antivirus, okay, keep your system free. Do not provide personal information. Um, it could be not providing uh, personal information. Okay, uh, providing the personal information, and then we have um, other ones have added to it. Um, so we can look at it. Uh, the rules of so we have uh, installing anti spyware antiviruses, not providing personal information. Uh, you want to protect your personal information with strong passwords, keep your personal information private, uh, pay attention to software updates, set up two factor notifications, back with personal data. So these are um, rules for safe internet usage. Um, you want to back up because you don't know your, your, your um, points of view browsing, um, your system could be infected, and if you don't have a backup, that could actually be a problem. So you want to keep your, your uh, back up your personal data that uh, very personal to you. Okay, so um, I think we've done that. Okay. Um, obviously, I checked the mask scheme to see if um, more um, safe internet usage were there, but. Uh, uh, Sadly, it's not there. So you're just gonna you have to use um, um, the um, form your understanding of what safe internet usage um, is all about. Okay. Um, moving on. Okay. So under this text, in your own words. Okay. So uh, you're not expecting to see that on your marking scheme, and it's formats, guys. Formats. Okay, so we have to apply the TU blessed style to these four rules. Okay, we we'll apply the TU blessed style to this four rules. So we're just going to pick out four. Um, okay, um, probably taking this one off. Just want to make four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, so four it is. I want to apply the fourth term with TU bullet style. Okay. All right. Import the table 
1803 HOD RTF and place it at the end of the document after the text head of department who are so I'm just going to place it here so I'm importing it So we're just going to import the table. But let's look at what we have here. Um, okay. Um, the table here. Oh, it's a Word document. So invariably we can just open it. and copy it okay so i click on it and we copy it and we can paste it here We're just going to paste it here. And it has to be part of. Um, okay, so we're going to apply it first. Let's apply it first and let's see. Um, okay, it has been applied. Okay. Format the table so that the TU style is applied. It fits within the column width. To ensure it fits within the column width. Okay. No text is is split when wrapped within a cell. So let's check that there's no text. Um nope. All of the first two columns in the first row are meshed. Only the text name is centered in the mess cell. Text in all row is centered aligned vertically. Now notice it's vertically not horizontally. in all rules okay layout okay. 
is centered aligned vertically. Center aligned, not left aligned vertically. So center aligned. Okay. All borders of grid line are visible when printed. Okay, I think we've accomplished so much this. Um just wanna know where we are. Spell check and proofread the document. Okay, so let's spell check. Proofread the document. So we'll go to review. Spelling and grammar. Okay, how much should be there? High speed. Okay, we can leave this one. Okay, I think that's fine. For spellings and uh, So we ignore all. So 80% score, editor score, it's one, that's not bad. Still a good one. Um, make sure the list and the list and tables are not split over two columns. Okay. Um, mine is split here. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. So we can just move this here. Okay, uh, we're just going to adjust it. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, this is okay. 
Um, there are no two windows. There are no windows of offense. Um, yep, no extra windows. It's fine. There are no blank pages. The half styles have been followed and coil styles applied and instructed. Spacing between all items is consistent. Yes, they are. Save the document using the same file name and format used in step 3. Okay, done. Make sure your name appears. Your name, um, center number, kind of number appears on your documents. Now that will be print out when. So we'll be saving this work. With printing, it's always good practice to always print your work to PDF. Okay? Very, very important to print your work to PDF. Okay? Okay, just wanted to make sure. All right. Um... is going to be print out one very very important and uh, if we don't this paper um test two marks um not bad so uh, thank you very much and please do well to subscribe <laughs> To this channel um, for more videos on IGCSC uh, practicals. Thank you very much.